Hey everyone, John Chow here from JohnChow.com. It is Saturday, I'm here to sign Clement the Outlet for the weekly South Pole Sea Calls and Coffee. Right, let's go check it out. All right, the show is just about to begin and cars are lining up to get in. Look at that. Yeah, this is the advantage of coming bef before the show starts. You get to see all the cars line up to get in. There we have a nice Rolls Royce, followed by a Porsche and some Rubicon. South OC Cars and Coffee Merchandise Tent. They got some new designs for their t-shirts and stuff too. Quite a lineup to get into Supercar Road. Anyway, we'll begin here at the uh, the car of Simon. This is the founder of South OC Cars and Coffee. And this is his son James's Porsche Panamera. This here is being reserved for some very special supercar or hypercar that I guess we'll show up a little later. And check this out. McLaren 765LT. Nice. Really good specs. Uh, blue. Customized wheels on it, I see. And it has an aftermarket roof scoop. It looks like it's supposed to suck in air to the engine in the back, but the truth of the matter is, this roof scoop is fake. It goes nowhere. It's just a, it's just a scoop. And yeah, see, you can see there's there's no connection, no no connection whatsoever. Basically, air goes in here, and then air comes out right there. <laughs> totally non-functional, just for looks. And if I was being honest, I I don't think that's the looks at all. Other than that, it's a uh, one of my favorite supercars. Oh, oh, check this out. Wow, an, this an original? Because if it is, this is worth a fortune. I GTO. The legendary Ferrari GTO. And check out that air filter. Oh my god. Yeah. The V12 engine. Whoa. Two seventy five GTB, my mistake. Uh, not a GTO, it looks like a GTO, but yeah, still. Nice vintage Ferrari, and parked next to it is an Italia. Ferrari Italia, so this is the modern Ferrari, and there's the vintage one. Nice uh, three-piece wheels on here. Here we have a white Italia, the, the coupe. I mean, no, this is a 488. Man, they hard to tell the difference sometimes. So that's a, uh, that's a 488. And this is the Italia. And here we have F430 Spider. Yeah, this one I recognize just from the nose, but in case you don't know, yeah, here you go. F430. <laughs> Audi R8. Nice wheels on that one. Wow. Ferrari. GT3. Acura NSX. Another R8. And uh, a Ferrari tire with a very interesting wrap. It's an tire spider. GTR, GTR, Nissan GTR with chrome wheels. Wow, that's pretty blingy. That's a lot of bling. Another for Italia. And we have an F8 Tributo. Porsche, and another Ferrari. And I guess opening up space for more cars. How are you doing? And then speaking of Walker, here it is. <laughs> Lamborghini Gallardo. So pulling into this spot right here. I think you gotta do it more than once, yep. <laughs> 
anyway, while he's pulling in, we'll continue looking. All right, check out this crazy Ferrari Italia. It's got a, a wide body kit. I mean, the front here looks like a special rally with the, with the, with the new clip. But yeah, it's wider fenders on here, you can see. So it's a wide body kit. The wheels are pushed out, so the stagger's been changed, the camber's been changed, all the alignment's been changed. I mean, look look at the lip. Look at the lip on this back wheel. It is so wide that it is so wide the tires are being stretched to the very limit. <laughs> That's pretty nuts. And uh, of course, the titanium exhaust right there. Uh, this huge duck tail. Wow, that's that's big. Uh, carbon fiber cover on the rear lights. Mm, doesn't line up very well. Great. <laughs> Same thing for this side. At least it's at least it's consistent. <laughs> Where did the altitude? All right, so one of the uh, highestly modified attire I've ever seen. All right, here we have a Porsche Boxster GT4 Spider, GT4 Spider, and this is a good comparison between the old model, I mean the new model, and the old Boxster. So this is the uh, last gen Boxster, well, actually maybe a few generations ago. So uh, you can see the same color, and what's different other than you know the the total change look, the uh, old Boxster is quite a bit smaller. Yeah, so. The, uh, like like every car, they're getting bigger. So you can see here's the GT4. It's actually quite big when you when you sit next to an old Boxster. This is like the Porsche parking session. Oh, check this out! Wow, with the Golf Live livery. Looks like it's wearing lipstick. <laughs> actually, I think that's the effect they're going for too. Whoa, a 427? And not only is a 427, a supercharged 427. Yeah, it's all engine in this hood. <laughs> now, here is a rare sight. No, not the Corvette. They're pretty common at Cars and Coffee. The rare sight is the fact that it has a front plate. Yeah, as you can see, no front plates. No front plates. I mean, it's illegal not to have a front plate in California, but uh, down here in Orange County, South OC, uh, the cops don't enforce it. 1967 Chevy muscle car, meeting the old with the new. So check it out. LS3 Corvette motor. 604 horsepower. Wilson, Wilson brakes. Nice interior, K and N shifter, or B no B and M shifter. New bullet wheels. Nice, very well done. All right. 1939 Oldsmobile, freshly painted, $27,000. Oh, and it's got suicide doors. Check it out. Oh, look at those velour seats. <laughs> fancy it in the back, fancy it in the front. Figure on the tree. Yeah, figure on the tree. Gotta love it. Now that's how you show off your car. Every single part way open. This is a what is this? Fairline? White wall tires. Look at that. Oh, big vintage battery. And it's a hot top convertible. Whoa. So, yeah, this is the actual trunk right here. Because you don't want to put anything around here because, you know, you're in a field with the convertible top going down. This thing is awesome. And it's huge. <laughs> it's like a convertible land yacht. Now this is an interesting color combination on the C8. So we got a nice blue exterior, 
but the interior look at that it's red blue and red what a combo like it's all red oh wow that's cool first time i've seen this combination and it works custom van custom van wow that's pretty big Hi. Oh, it's for sale. So, check it out. Yes. Got the toilet, kitchen area, dining area, bedroom area. Cool. This is a Rally Sport Z28 from the 19s, late 60s, early 70s, and it's got a Pro Charger on it. Wow! <laughs> goes and it goes onto a carburetor. That's that's old. That's old school right there. All right, no intercooler, big wastegate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and still got plenty of room in his engine bay. So that's quite impressive. Okay, what do we have here? <laughs> Going doors, right hand drive, manual, spare tire behind the driver, part of the Suzuki Square. <laughs> okay, so it's an AZ1. It is positively tiny. Looks unfinished in this area, but cool. That's one cute little thing. Honda S2000, <laughs> Montana plates. <laughs> oh, wow. Big turbo, big turbo setup on here. So you see the turbo. Really cramp in there, no air filter to protect it or anything like that. In the cooler down here, wastegate. Yeah, this should give Johnny Tran a run for his money. Corvette Z06, the new C8. The last one we saw was fully optioned out top of the line. This one is a little more reasonable. So it doesn't have the Z07 package, so uh, regular wheel instead of carbon fiber wheels. So this one's probably less money. The last one we saw was over $180,000. This one's probably around 130 or so. so here's the engine, 670 horsepower, naturally aspirated. Michelin's Pilot Sports 4S, not Cup 2s. So this one is not as track focused as the, uh, the last one we saw, but Still, nevertheless, looks quite good. And this is who they're saving one of the three parking spots for. This is one of the highest specs McLaren 765 LT ever sold. It's got an MSO fade paint job. So you can see it starts off green and then it fades to black. Yeah, see, check out all the MSO options on here. Absolutely stunning. The fade paint job. Uh, I don't know how much that costs, but it can't be cheap. Okay, that is self OC Cars and Coffee. It happens every Saturday from 9 to 11. If you're confused, this is the place to be on a Saturday morning. John Chow from JohnChow.com. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed that, give me a thumbs up. Please like to see my videos, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.